to another episode of Hermitcraft Amplified. Today we are just chilling, going down our waterfall. Why the hell not? I thought this gives quite a nice little, like, uh, smooth camera view. I might have to do some kind of uh, cool shot of the Hermitcraft server like that. That looks pretty awesome. But uh, today we're just going to go down and quickly check on our little building site over here. I uh, realised that you guys didn't really see kind of what had happened in, in completion. Um, and this is a sad, this, this is a sad sight. It, it's kind of sad that Swam's little building has in fact gone, but um, it wasn't really the best place for it. We both kind of decided that, you know what, it wasn't the best place for it, and we wanted to just have a bit of fun, and I decided to kind of build a construction site, because, you know, we can make it a little bit fun, uh, get you guys involved on, on that half of it, and, um, yeah, I have no idea what mobs do now. They seem to, like, freeze some, sometimes, and just let you kill them, pretty much. Also, Someone has built some kind of, like, walkway up there, which looks pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing all that hap happens with that. But I'm not really sure what to do with these now. I've got two vehicles that, um, well, I don't know, are just there. I don't know if I should, like, build a shop that sells them or something. I don't really know. But, um, I will definitely have to work something out and maybe just get rid of them or something like that. So today, I haven't actually got anything I need to do. I've got a few ideas written down. And I haven't picked one quite yet, but one thing I did do in the stream the other day was build these little platforms here. I'm not sure what I think of them. I think I'm already going to have to, I think, head head back quite a lot. Ooh, it looks pretty cool, actually. See, now in the streams, I had my window, my Minecraft window, really, really small. So I can't see it too well, um, and I wasn't too keen on it. But now I kind of like it, and I'm thinking maybe I could put it in a glass tube. But I think too much glass is going to ruin it, so maybe not not glass. Hmm. Don't know. But I think maybe I'll do something with that today. Maybe we'll just play around with these little levels we've got here and uh, see what happens, I guess. So I literally just wandered over here to see what was going on because I could see something in the water. And it seems that these chests right here and here may or may not have bit got a little bit full. Mumbo. Um, I got a feeling I may have to add another chest, actually. I could actually just... Yeah, look, it's just gone off again. Oh god, this is going to be a nightmare, I think. I've got a feeling we need probably more more chests in general over here. But um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll make some of this melon up into actual blocks so that it takes up less space. Take some of these pumpkins for myself. And um, yeah, we're going to fix this up just uh, so it doesn't go too, too crazy. So as you might have guessed it, we need to make some corridors today. Now this is the first of the three levels. This is the, the first one, the lower down one, and then we have two up there, that one, and then the one above. Now I haven't quite got a plan for these as of yet. I'm kind of just going with the flow, I guess. Um, but what I'm going to do is start building this little corridor here. Now I kind of want them to fit in with the theme of the room that they're on. So all these rooms are a little bit different, but I want this one to obviously match this room. Now, I've got no idea what I want in this actual room down here. I know that I need to cut out the actual circle out of the area in the mountain as well, so I think I'm going to have to do that in a second so we get a nice big look at the whole space. And we've also got to decide whether or not we're going to have these blocked in or if we're going to do something a little bit different with that. So I thought I would come back up here for another view and I've started chopping out the mountain a little bit on those two bottom levels. But I don't know if I like it being chopped out. I kind of like them being a bit more covered. So that if I think you came over to this side, I don't know if we'll be able to do this. It's really kind of dodgy uh, seeing it like this because obviously I've got my render distance, not render distance, but my, uh, what's the word? My field of view, that's the word, um, up really, really low, uh, kind of, I guess it's low, yeah. And um, it kind of zooms in for me, so I can kind of see it a little bit better. Yeah, I much prefer how that one looks up there. I think if I kind of build in the wall, just to cover it at a diagonal like that. So the bottom one's the most uncovered, but the top one is going to be quite covered up with, uh, with the, the dirt and, and the stone. And also I've got a couple of pumpkins up there that were natural, just natural pumpkins I've left there. Um, I think I took a couple because there was way too many up there, but... I think that's going to look cool. I think we need to sort that out a little bit. We could also make this this line along here a lot more natural because it does kind of... I don't know, it does kind of go in a straight line. So maybe I should start digging little bits out of it or building it back up a little bit. Because we kind of... You know, we were trying to keep the mountain intact almost um, as much as we can. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to kind of put a little bit back 
to the mountain and we'll have to obviously sort some things out. It might be quite nice to actually utilise this, this greenery area here. It almost slopes down to that top level there, so I'm not sure if I could do something with that. Maybe have the greenery area cover that top one, almost like a globe. Or almost like the uh, globey domey thing on top of that uh, with dirt. And it would kind of go green and maybe have some trees and stuff coming off it. I'm not quite sure, but that is pretty much me brainstorming for you guys and uh, seeing what I come up with in my head. So I was up there recording and I suddenly just just didn't like what I was doing. I didn't know, I didn't like how the episode was going. And I've just decided to go, you know what, scrap that project. We're going to do that another episode or whenever I feel like it and can actually spend a lot more time on it. Because I haven't got that much time today. Um, and you know what? It doesn't look as great as maybe I thought it would. So I think I need to rethink some ideas there. And, you know, I feel like that's something that not a lot of uh, YouTubers and just people that make things in Minecraft do. They generally don't just stop doing a project because it, they don't like how it's going. They'll keep continue with it and they'll, you know, maybe ruin it or they'll maybe, you know, not like where it's going and hate it in the, in the end and have to just get, remove it. Um, so instead I think I'm going to stop now before I get too much done and too much completed and the episode goes too boring um, and we'll work on something a bit different. Now, I have a cool idea. I don't know if I'll be able to get it done this episode, but it's a very, very cool little idea. Now, this area down here, originally I was going to have as an entrance to my base. This is why Spum's building kind of wasn't in the ideal place, because I did plan on using this wall here. Now, it's kind of in a strange space, but I think it's going to look kind of cool. Now, I was given a really, really awesome idea in the stream um, that I did the other day, and who was it that gave me the idea? Screen... Birkins, I think his name was, um, and it was a really, really cool idea about how I could maybe utilise my base, which is made of waterfalls, pretty much, and and sell some things to do with it. So what I'm going to do is build a little shop here with official Symmetry Falls water, because you know, you know how water is sold, uh, bottled water and stuff. You know, people people need to drink on the server. You know, you need to keep hydrated and stuff. So. I think that it would be a very, very cool idea to sell my very own bottled water from the water up here in Cemetery Falls and I cannot get up in this block. <laughs> oh god. And um, yeah, I think this would be a really, really cool little area for a, a little tiny shop and uh, we'll just go ahead and build it and sell some, uh, some very nice water. So first things first, I really need to go and gather some more materials. now. You might be thinking, well, you've got all the materials up there in your base. I do, except for quartz. Now, quartz is something you obviously get from the nether. And the nether is somewhere I haven't really explored too much of yet. So, uh, I'm definitely going to have to go there and grab some more of that. I only had, like, a stack of the actual uh, crystals, or whatever they're called. Um, I think, did I put them in here? Yeah, the, the nether quartz. Um, I didn't have any blocks. So, I've got some blocks now. I've got 16 blocks, which isn't an awful lot. So, what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time in the nether, just gathering myself some um, quartz up, and uh, then we'll fortune it and uh, start building. And that is a little space there that we've made already for the shop. So, the first thing I have decided to do is add a little bit of blue. <laughs> kind of rhymes. Um, but what I have decided to do is add... Well... Yeah, blue glass, pretty much, to this little area. Now, I want to make it look like a waterfall. And I was originally thinking maybe I should actually make a waterfall just down here on this line along here. And people have to walk through the water to get in. But then I thought, that's a silly idea. We should probably use a waterfall just as a little touch along this wall here. Maybe um, where this is where the like, counter will be, I guess. And things like that. And uh, I thought it might be kind of cool to do something like that there. Something a little bit more subtle, um, even though it is going to be a water shot, basically. So, uh, I don't know. But what I am thinking about doing is getting rid of this. I might turn this back to just stone, um, because I'm not really keen on that colour. I don't want that in this design too much. But what we will do is, if I can place it, we can kind of make it look a little bit like a waterfall here, like so. Um, and I'm not really sure how this is going to look exactly. But I want to maybe add some white here and then some clear at the bottom and had, add some kind of doorway somewhere as well. Have we got some white? I believe I do somewhere. I'm blind. There it is. Um, and make it look a little bit like it's foaming at the bottom. That's kind of what waterfalls do a little bit. Um, so probably about here would be kind of the foam part of it. And maybe we could in fact actually just kind of keep this pattern going. Uh, something like that. Uh, like this and that. 
maybe. I would, I suppose, need to stretch that out again one more. But that would kind of be it, and then we could, in fact, have a couple of pillars either side, and then the doorway in the middle. It looks a bit rough and a bit not too great right now, but I think I'll tweak it a bit and uh, try and come up with some different designs. So, another thing that I really need for my design, I am trying to do something a little bit clever, a little bit different than you might have already seen in builds of a similar style. It's going to be, I suppose, kind of modern. Uh, it's mostly going to be kind of water and, and like white and, and clear and those kind of colours, blue and like cold colours, pretty much. So what I'm doing is collecting a load of ice. I need normal ice rather than packed ice because you can see through it. Now that gives you a little bit of a clue at what I'm thinking. Now, I'm just fingers crossed that this will work because if it doesn't, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. Um, since I'm having to like hang out here. This is only temporary by the way I'm sure someone that knows a lot more about ice trays will build a proper one at some point Also, this is really quite close Or kind of close to some people's builds. It's just just outside of spawn um, I think the closest build is probably TFC or, or monkey farm just there actually um, And we're just over here just gonna collect some ice for a while. This is probably taking for gonna take a long long while to get as much ice as I need, but it will be definitely worth it so as I stand here in the shop, you guys may or may not guess exactly what I'm doing here. So ice, rather than packed ice, is actually kind of see-through, it's translucent, and you can pretty much just see almost like glass. It's, it's probably, you can see better through it than you can uh, the light blue, I think. Yeah, I, I, would, I would say that. Um, and I'm using it as the floor. Now, we do have a bit of an issue in that lighting is going to have to be used at some point because um, otherwise it will be very very dark in here so we're gonna have to be very very careful with the light also I've only collected about only collected about 60 ice I think one melted on how to replace it but um, that is pretty much what we're doing so we're actually gonna mirror this whole thing here down there as well and then also with the floor or, or the ceiling I guess and things like that so this is all getting very very confusing and uh, it's probably not the best idea to work on that before I've actually built the first floor, or the top floor. Um, I might actually use the bottom floor as a, a secondary area for the shop. I don't know whether or not I'll, I'll actually allow people down there. I mean, it's mostly for decoration, but I think I'll just play around with some things. We need to actually finish off this window here. We need to actually sort out the water here as well. This water's going to have to go down a lot more so that it actually goes down um, like, like so. Um, in the right areas and it's a very very messy down there so I'm gonna have to get my Death Strider, Strider boots on I believe I have a pair and uh, also uh, Aqua Affinity or Respiration Helmet as well and we should be good um, and maybe a Night Vision Potion as well that might be quite quite handy but um, I need to do a lot more work here and a lot more digging out we need to sort out where the glass is going and then we should be on our way to coming up with a very very cool little design here well, I've just gone to gather some more quartz because I desperately needed some uh, just to finish up some design ideas and stuff. And uh, if you read the chat there, I will uh, leave this up if you want to pause the video. Um, I basically said what the hell is going on because uh, Zuma put OMG in caps and it turned day apparently and stuff. I don't even know what happened. Um, and uh, we, both myself and Slip were doing stuff with quartz. He was fortune in it. I was collecting it as you could see. And, um, and then what happened? And then they both went to get food, and now I'm just sat here hungry and, and the only one on the server going, hmm, what should I have to eat? But anyway, today what we're doing is uh, we're going to go and um, finish this up. Now I want to show you guys what I've been up to um, while I've been gone. I've been gone a few hours and I thought, you know, I'll pop on for a bit, finish up, and then show you guys what's going on. I put a sign in here just saying spoilers just in case anyone decided to record. Um, because it's not ready to go up just yet, but this is what I've been doing. This is going to be behind the counter You know if you go into a shop like a fancy shop like a clothing shop or something They have like a fancy thing behind the counter don't they sometimes uh, so the counter will be just along here I think and as you can see it is mirrored like I said it would be and I really really love it because the water does still go downwards obviously like it would do um, Also, hmm need to maybe sort something out like there because the water actually meets in the middle, which isn't ideal because it won't be able to do that up here unless gravity, you know, changes somehow in Minecraft. Don't know how that would work, but um, yeah, that's what I have so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish this off a little bit. I do need some more quartz for these parts. I've used quite a lot on the stairs and obviously you need to put some stairs down there as well. So we might have to actually buy some quartz of someone if we can't get enough. Um, or we might have to change our design a little bit, but either way, it is working out nicely, and I really, really love the mirrored effect. 
Okay, so the wonderful, wonderful XP Crafted, who, uh, you know, I don't have a bad thing to say uh, about at all, has given me 34 blocks of nether quartz. So, uh, thank you very much, dude. He didn't want anything for them, so uh, thank you very much. That is greatly appreciated. If he needs any other blocks uh, that maybe I have a lot of in the future, then I'll be sure to trade them for them. Um, or give them to him for free again. Uh, but yes, we have uh, a lot of things done. Uh, I really need to get these stairs done down there. I'm not sure what to do with the ceiling. I know I need to put some lights in because if I get rid of these down here, up here, I know I have some down there as well, but uh, that's a little bit different. Um, yeah, it's quite dark. It's not too bad. There's obviously lighting behind here, up there, and down there. I also figured that actually putting signs just there and there, which are very, very hidden, you can't see them from this side, just works perfectly. Genius, absolute genius I am. Um, but yeah, that's what it's looking like. I need to put some lighting in the ceiling. I was hoping for some redstone lamps, but I don't think I'll have enough of those uh, to make that work. But I think what we'll do is put some kind of lighting in here. Maybe some pattern or something. Maybe with uh, quartz stairs. I don't really want to use too much quartz, but because it's just such a pain. Because I probably will have to get some, el some more, actually, um, along with those. So I don't know. I think probably I'm going to have to work on this project a little bit more and then I think I'm actually gonna have to not finish it this episode which sucks which sucks so badly I would love to be able to finish it this episode but uh, I think I'll finish it off in a stream in a bit um, because I won't be able to do any more recording and stuff I need to get this up and ready uh, for you guys tomorrow uh, well right now as you're watching this video section not sure um, but yeah that is really really fun and I'm so so looking forward to this this is starting to look really really awesome so that is it, I've run out of time for this episode, but this gives you an idea about what I'm planning in the next episode. I will finish this off, definitely, and we'll do something else as well if I can. But we obviously haven't uh, put it down there yet, we haven't mirrored it just yet, because we're just trying things out first. But this is how it's going to look. We have got orange back there, which I'm not sure about. Maybe I'll change the orange out. It does give it a little tiny bit of colour, like the green does back there but more muted because it's behind the white, so it's not as impactful. We obviously want the blue to stand out the most. And this is kind of the height of the, uh... Whoa, okay, that that didn't really go well. That's what I was supposed to be doing. Not that. That's just a bit too creepy. But this is pretty much uh, what I'm planning. That's where the countertop's going to be. We're obviously going to have some displays or something along here and along here. But uh, I'm really, really excited by this project, and I hope you guys are too. I really wanted to make a little shop, but I didn't have any ideas specifically, and uh, water's just a silly, fun little little shop to make, I guess, in, uh, in Minecraft. And I think it works really well, just being kind of a part of my mountain, almost. Um, it's a bit of an odd spot, like it isn't very central, like shops would be, I guess. But um, obviously, you know, people would come down to Symmetry Falls. It's almost like a gift shop, uh, I suppose. So that's pretty cool, and I really, really like how it's looking. So let me know what you guys think, as always, and leave a like if you have enjoyed, because uh, we've been getting, like, 500 likes recently, and it's been amazing. So let's see if we can get 500 more. That would be seriously, seriously the best thing ever. Um, it puts a massive smile on my face and just just makes it like worth it almost um, and seeing you guys wonderful comments so thank you ever so much for watching and I should get you guys next time see ya